Hey everyone, welcome to another video view. This is the Nendoroid Nijika Ijichi from uh, Bochi the Rock. You can see it's number 2242, and you can see her there in front of the box. We'll go ahead and put it off the side real quick, and yeah. We're 2242 for the Nendoroid series. You got a right, picture right here. You got Nijika Ijichi. EGT, yeah, it's one of those things that kind of trips up in your English speaker right there on the there. Got her name in Japanese and all that stuff. Got a good smile up here and Bochi the Rock. On the front top, you have all her at a drums kit and everything. And on this side, you have some poses. And on this side, you have some more poses. And on the bottom, you have another pose. And on the back, you have a lot more poses and copyrights and warnings. And hey, it's for ages 15 and up, so you know, not for children. Also, it's called out right here, which is, yeah, the uh, backdrop in the box, which I'll get that out real quick. Uh, the backdrop. There's the uh, the plastic tray. Got out of the way. Uh, the, pl the backdrop can be used as a stage because it is starry stage from the show. The only problem is you got some uh, folds in there, but yeah. You can use that as a backdrop, although we're going to have to do some uh, work because they have a bonus zone and kind of hold up very well so you have to figure that out yourself but yeah that's a thing you can do if you'd like she also comes with a little booklet which you know has both the instructions in japanese and in english you know so if you need help with how to operate everything there you go and that's that so there you go. Nijika. You can see her there. She is, well, I can, yep, little anime character. She's kind of the leader of Kesaku Band. Yeah, getting in close here, you can see, yep, her head. She's got kind of the reddish eyes. She's got blonde hair. She's got a little Dorito chip up there. You got her big old ponytail. A smile on stuff. She's got the white shirt with the red and Red polka dot bow tie, you get the blue skirts, you get the little red shoes and the white socks and everything all around. Nice gradient to the hair. On the back, it's pretty much just, you know, white and blue with legs and everything. Not really a whole lot going on, but I had a little weird crack or something in the plastic. Of course, yeah, you can see that plugs in. There you go. And She's standing with her stand. Of course, you can kind of maybe get her to stand, you know, with like a lot of androids, there's a chance of getting her to stand without the stand, but good luck considering everything. You're just going to be really difficult to pull that off. Yeah. It's technically doable, but it's so much effort that, you know, just, just, just use the stand. <laughs> so there you go. But, um, yeah, pretty straightforward that. Uh, it does have, you know, it's typical Nendoroid articulation, so head can swivel, you got up and down, I guess, on that, that hinge. You can adjust how that looks, depending. Uh, this is on a ball joint, so you got forward and back. You do have a bit of you know, twisting as well, as well as up and down. The arms could go forward and back at that hinge. There's a swivel at the bicep. Yeah, there's a swivel at the bicep there. There's a swivel at the wrist. There's a bit of a swivel at the uh, waist. Actually, it's a significant one considering they kind of did it a little differently than usual. Did the waist connection a little differently, but there's a swivel there. Hips, of course, can well move kind of forward and back depending on how you have that twist. You know, the twist you can move forward and back or side to side depending on how you have the joint in there uh, set. Yeah, so there you go. Pretty basic Nendoroid articulation, and of course, comes with. She comes with a lot of accessories. You saw how big the box was. Yeah, she comes with a lot of accessories compared to the usual Nendoroid. Uh, we'll talk with the basic ones first and come with the... Uh, I'll show the other ones later. But, of course, she comes with alternate face, which, yeah, kind of her... Rio said something stupid again face. Uh, kind of very, very pleased face. Big old grin, closed eyes, all that stuff. She's got a couple alternate hands. Um... This one is kind of a pointing slash shush hand. You want? She has kind of this victory or peace hand. That's the right hand. That's the left hand. Um, oh yeah, a spare joint just in case something breaks. Rolling away because of course it is. Stay. Uh, she has a couple of extra arms, which is, uh, or forearms anyway. They also come with extra hands, which are the gripping hands for the jumpsticks, which you don't have to leave in there. They do come out, so 
could put something else in the hand, but you know, the bent arms. And there's a pair of those. And there you go. And on mine, I had to do some shaving on the plastic on the inside of this hole. And you probably see the remnants of that. I had to do that because it was so tight, it literally would not go on the, the peg. It was ridiculous. I could not get it on the peg and I was worried it was going to break. So I had to shave around and even then it's still a little tighter than I'd like. So I'm going to do some more uh, treatment, but regardless, uh, pretty straightforward, you know, face swaps, of course, again, the hair comes, comes right off. If I can I say it comes right off as I struggle to get it off again. It's always like that. Yep. That comes off. So then again, swap that in. Like so, and just bam, face is swapped. Hands are pretty straightforward, you know, again, just swapping the hand is just, again, just simple, whoop, don't pull the arm, whole arm off, but, you know, pull the hand off and swap out for a different one. Like that. Oh, look how that she is. <laughs> That's pretty straightforward. And of course the drum stick hand holding arms just you know at the bicep you know just pull that off there and then just you know pick it on this one's also kind of tight but not as bad at least in my my experience yeah it goes on there but you, i heard that and i'm probably going to shave that one down a little bit too maybe i don't know but i might have to shave the left one down a bit because that was the one that was like nope and yeah, considering this goes on just fine, there's no real problem here with this this particular one. I'm going to definitely, it's going to all definitely be at the hole and not the peg. Because yeah, it's absurd how tight it was. This is, yeah, this is after I fix it a bit and it's still a little too tight. It's re ridiculous. To the point I'm worried I'm going to shear the peg at some point. Good news is I won't have to worry about it coming off. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's ridiculously tight. Ridiculously tight. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and shave that hole down a little bit. But yeah, you can see her there with her, you know, holding her drumsticks, ready to play. Except for. Well, what she's supposed to play on if there's no drums to play. Well, good thing there is a bunch of drums in here. So we're going to move all this stuff out of the side real quick. And yeah, because there is more parts. Because there's also, hey, look, the bass drum and the two toms right there. Those do come out. Um, but yeah, they come out of the little pegs, but they also can twist around. So there you go. Got all that. You have this, the full drums kit. Yeah, you got this stuff. And you got the hi hat, which is all one piece. Like so. The snare drum in the stand. You got you got this this stand right here, and you got the snare drum, which just goes right on like that. Then you know just stay on right there. that okay you have several symbols and their stands those just peg on like that One thing I will say is also be careful with the symbols because they have a tendency to just want to um, flop over really easily, to say the least. You got those symbols as well. And of course, the chair for her to sit in. And of course, a seating sitting part because, well, you don't want it. There's no fabric there for that to bend. Uh, there is also, by the way, articulation here that the legs can uh, twist a bit. And I think they're also, all the, yeah, they think they also, yeah, the hip joint, I can see that. This one's just weird. This one looks like being a bit of a weird angle right now. Yep. Of course, that's pretty straightforward to swap and just swap that around like that. My thing is, yeah, um, I've discovered that uh, 
Yeah, she doesn't balance it in the seat at all. So, yeah, you still have to have her attached to the stand, which is kind of a doozy to deal with, to say the least. Sometimes, depending, you kind of have to... Yeah, adjust that a little bit and get her to get her seated, but you can eventually get her seated. There, you have to do that because you have to do it like that because, well, this this makes her sit too high. Uh, compared to the drum set and the drum sticks now will keep falling out, but you know, you can have her sitting behind the drum set ready to go. Of course, now it's all backwards because I was showing it off, but I'm just gonna get it all turned around real quick. And there you go, um, all set up with the drum kit kind of in a more or less loosely in the correct layout. It's kind of a little difficult because at an indoor scale, things are kind of banging into each other, but. There you go, there's the drum kit. She's sitting there, you know, very happy at a drum kit. And of course, this is where I can do the comparisons finally, because we're gonna get well three quarters of the band are here. Here's uh yeah, here's Kita, who'd be right there, and here's Mobochi who'd be off to the side right there, and there you go. Rio's gonna be over here, and there you go. Um there they are so far, three quarters of the Kesaku band, because Rio's just late as she usually would be something like she would do, just kind of show up late for no reason. Miji will give her an earful. <laughs> but yeah. Overall, really nice set. Uh, the only thing is it's a little bit more expensive because it is, a, as you notice, the box is bigger than normal Nindo box. It is just no, a bigger set overall, I believe. It's, whereas these are closer to 40-ish dollars before shipping. The, she's closer to 50, 60 dollars, which she has an ac accessory. She, you know, she's got the full kit. But yeah, if you're someone who for some reason didn't want Nijiko with the drum set, well, tough luck. <laughs> at least at this point, there might be an alternate version down the line, but... I'm not sure why you'd want that because at this point, well, it's, well, you'd want them with the instruments. So she's going to get the drum set. So she's going to be expensive. Um, she's fairly popular as a character though. So there's that. She, so yeah, I think she's worth it. She's got enough set. The only thing I would um, worry of on mine, I'm not sure how common this is, but yeah, that left bent arm ridiculously tight. I couldn't get it on the peg. I had to shove it down. It's still too, too probably too tight. I'm going to have to fix that more. Also, word of warning, the cymbal stands, I, th I, th I think I said this already, but yeah, the cymbal stands, definitely, it's because of the cymbals, they are very off-kilter and very easy to knock over, so just be aware of that. So once you got it posed, I don't know, you might want to use something to kind of keep them upright because they are very prone to tipping over. Uh, so there you go. But other than that, yeah, pretty straightforward, uh, as long as you know how a drum kit's supposed to look, or generally... Uh, it's kind of sometimes there are differences between the simple stands, by the way. Um, there are diff bent at different angles, which will help you kind of figure out which one's supposed to be which because the symbols are all different. Also, remember the biggest symbol is supposed to be over here on the to her right. Yeah, the biggest symbol is supposed to be going to be on her right. So, just being aware of that. So, uh, there you go. She's good. Uh, she's got a decent amount of posability, you know, decent posability, of course, for Nendo. Got a lot of accessories, justifies the price for sure. At least with an accessory count, you may find yourself not wanting those accessories, but I think you're, those kind of people are going to be in a bit of a minority. And, of course, she looks good with her bandmates so far. So, of course, Rio's next. She should be coming out pretty soon, next couple weeks soon. Maybe some, I think it's, I think it's mar marked for April, so it's going to probably be another two or three weeks, but she'll show up soonish. And then finally, you know, Kesaku Band can perform, and there you go. So that's it for this review. I hope you found it informative and entertaining. Hope you like, comment, subscribe. Check out my uh, social media. It's down in the description and at the end of the video. Check out my coffee and my Patreon. I shall see you next time with another video review.